What did you eat for breakfast, lunch and dinner yesterday? I had oatmeal for breakfast, a chicken sandwich for lunch and grilled salmon with a side salad for dinner. Notice how some of our food, like the oatmeal and vegetables, come from plants. And foods like chicken, fish and eggs come from animals. In the animal kingdom, diet is a primary factor in classification. Animals that eat only plants are called herbivores. Think of cows grazing in a field, or giraffes munching on tree leaves. On the other hand, animals that eat only other animals or animal products are called carnivores. Examples include lions hunting in the savannah, snakes feeding on rodents, or sharks in the ocean. Then there are omnivores, which eat both plants and animals. Bears, for example, often eat berries and fruits, as well as fish and small mammals. Raccoons also have a varied diet, eating fruits, berries, eggs, insects and frogs. as well as occasionally scavenging for food in human populated areas. Let's explore these groups further and discuss some more examples to understand their roles in nature. Herbivores like horses have flat teeth designed for grinding leaves and grass. Cows also have wide, flat molars, perfect for breaking down tough plants, and their complex stomachs help them digest fibrous diets. Rabbits use their strong front teeth to cut through vegetation, such as grass and twigs, and their molars help grind up the tough plant fibres they eat. Elephants use their large flat molars to chew a variety of plants, including leaves, twigs, fruit and bark. Their trunks also help them pick up and eat food. Giraffes reach up with their long necks to eat leaves from tall plants, mainly from acacia trees, chewing them with their ridged molars. Zebras eat different types of grass, and their strong molars are good for grinding up the tough plant material. These features help herbivores eat their plant-based diets, which is important for their survival and for keeping plant growth in check within their ecosystems. Now for a closer look at some well-known carnivores. Carnivorous animals, such as lions, wolves and sharks have specific adaptations that enable them to effectively hunt and consume other animals. These animals often have sharp, pointed teeth designed for tearing flesh. Their digestive systems are well suited to break down meat, allowing them to extract nutrients from their prey. Lions utilize their powerful jaws and sharp claws to take down prey, which includes both small and large mammals in the savanna. They primarily feed on the flesh, which provides them with the high energy nutrients necessary for their active hunting lifestyle. Wolves hunt in packs, allowing them to tackle prey much larger than themselves, such as deer and elk. Their social structure is not only beneficial for hunting, but also for raising their young, which are fed meat by the adults. The pack behaviour of wolves shows how working together helps them hunt better and take care of their young, which is important for their survival. Sharks, as marine carnivores, have many rows of teeth that make them excellent hunters. Their diet consists mainly of fish, seals and even larger marine animals, depending on the shark species. The great white shark, for example, is known for its incredible speed and biting power, capable of catching and feeding on a variety of large fish and marine mammals. 
These carnivorous animals play crucial roles in maintaining the balance of their ecosystems by controlling the population of herbivores and other prey species. And lastly, let's look at the diets and habits of a couple of omnivorous animals. Omnivores like bears and raccoons have versatile diets that adapt based on food availability. Bears, for instance, adjust their diet seasonally. In the spring and early summer, they mostly consume fruits, berries and vegetation. As fall approaches and they prepare for hibernation, their diet shifts to include more calorie-dense foods such as nuts and they increase their intake of protein-rich sources like fish and small mammals. This flexibility in diet helps them maximise their energy intake for survival during the months of hibernation in winter. Raccoons are equally adaptable and known for their opportunistic feeding habits. They eat a variety of foods depending on what is available. In natural settings, their diet includes fruits, nuts and plants, as well as insects, eggs and small animals. However, raccoons living near urban areas may also scavenge food from trash bins, showcasing their ability to exploit human environments to supplement their diet. This adaptability allows raccoons to thrive in a wide range of habitats and conditions. Both bears and raccoons show how omnivores can adjust their eating habits to suit their environmental conditions, which helps them maintain a balanced diet throughout different seasons and varying food availabilities. Now think about some of your favourite animals. Discuss with your friends whether they are herbivores, carnivores or omnivores. What do their diets tell you about how they live and their roles in nature? Don't forget to subscribe!